I really respect John Shorthouse. I respect him a lot. He's a guy who went through the same media courses that I'm going through today at BCIT. He was a graduate of the broadcast journalism program like 20 years ago, something like that. So he's got his experience in the business. So watching this game, the Vancouver Canucks versus the Carolina Hurricanes, which despite containing one of the best Canucks goals all season, was the worst game the Canucks have played all season. I was very, very impressed to listen to John Shorthouse and listen to how he wasn't letting his bias show. Because obviously Shorthouse is a little bit biased. The Johns are biased. You cannot deny that. They're Vancouver dudes. Shorthouse lived here, was raised here, went to school here. He cheered for this team, and he became an analyst for this team. Garrett played for this team. So it's obvious to see that there would definitely be seeds of a little bit of bias. Which is why I was very impressed to hear just how professionally and how objectively John Shorthouse was calling this game. He was fair in his entire call, and I respect the hell out of that. Because I know for me, I'm not the professional here, I'm only 18 years old, so I'm not claiming to be on the same echelon as John Shorthouse, but I was furious this entire game. Now, there are a few points that we could talk about when it comes to the Vancouver Canucks versus the Carolina Hurricanes. First, the obvious one, the beginning, slow starts. Secondly, we can talk about the refs. Thirdly, we can talk about Antoine Roussel. Fourthly, we can talk about Eric Branson. Fifthly, we can talk about giveaways. Sixthly, we can talk about breakouts. And seventhly, we can talk about Derek Pouliot, who is in the thumbnail of this video. I don't want to be labeled as somebody who's defaming or executing libel against Derek Pouliot. This is a video about the worst game the Canucks as a whole played because they got off to a slow start again. They weren't in it for the first 20 minutes. We're used to this. It's been like this for the past few games and it is a problem. This team just doesn't have an ability to start on time. We've seen this problem plague other teams. The Leafs were like this for a good majority of their rebuilding years. Heck, you could argue that the Leafs are kind of like this right now. But the Vancouver Canucks are like this today, and it sucks. Secondly, the refs. Now, I'll admit, I wasn't very much a fan of the refereeing in this game as well. But the referees did have to show some tough love here because the game just did put itself in such a bad position, and I do understand that a lot of Vancouver fans and a lot of Vancouver Canucks were frustrated, but if you think that the referees were the reason that the Canucks lost this game, then you're delusional. Because the Canucks are the reason that the Canucks lost this game. They sucked. And that's it. The refs were horrible, yes, but the Canucks were even worse. And... I don't want to sit here and not give my props out to Carolina. Nino need a rider, man. I told you guys, he's going to be getting a great opportunity to succeed over there. Almost got a hat trick tonight. Toivo Teravainen was absolutely incredible, too. The Carolina Hurricanes offense was so strong. And part of that is because of the fifth point that I mentioned earlier giveaways. The Vancouver Canucks just weren't good in their own zone. Oh my goodness, all the giveaways, all the blind passes, all of the plays that resulted in Carolina chances. For the bad save percentage that Jacob Markstrom had in this game, he wasn't all too bad. Seriously, he didn't have a chance on a lot of those goals. And Derek Pouliot is the big catalyst here. You could say that he is the scapegoat for a big majority of these plays, which is absolutely true if you watch the video but there's a reason Derek Pouliot only played nine minutes in total. The next lowest defender was Eric Branson at 13 minutes. So 
Things got shuffled around a little bit towards the third period. Dara Puglia kind of got benched, and it doesn't surprise me. He was the worst player on the Canucks this game, and I think anybody watching that could have seen that too. This is not an attack on Pouliot's character, nor is it an attack on Eric and Branson, because these guys, you know, they're great team guys, they've been here for a while, Vancouver loves them as people, but this pairing of Pouliot and Goodbranson was so bad, and in particular, Derek Pouliot's giveaways were so fatally bad, that I don't know what else there is to illustrate just how poor the performance was in this game. What else is there to talk about? I talked about the slow start, the refs, the giveaways, the breakouts. Here, the breakouts, they were bad too. We couldn't break into the zone. We had so many offside calls and so many delayed offside calls throughout the game. It was frustrating to watch. We just really couldn't get in when we needed to. And overall, I'm not surprised that the Canucks weren't able to get more than two goals. They couldn't control the puck in the offensive zone. They did that a little bit at the start of the third period, but it all went downhill from there when all the penalties started coming about. Speaking of penalties, let's go back to my third point, Antoine Roussel. Roussel kind of got into it a little bit, and you know what, man? The game was heated. That's going to happen. Not surprised that he got ejected, but at the same time, you don't want to see that. Overall, though, I mean, Roussel's going to be Roussel. He's been good for us, and honestly, I was okay with that. Eric and Branson, he got hit hard in the back by Andre Svechnikov, and Guddy didn't like that. So he skated across the rink, hunting down Svechnikov, and I saw Chris... Chris Kant on Twitter, he was joking about it. He was saying, that's the fastest I've seen Good Branson skate since joining the Vancouver Canucks, which I guess is funny if you're trying to have a satirical laugh at this, but it's kind of sad that you can actually look at that and be like, huh, kinda, right? Man, this game was just so bad, and honestly, I don't know what else to say. I mean, Besser and Pedersen got points, right? Horvat got a point. That's all we care about, right? Is that the only good thing that came out of this game? Because I think the only thing that's going to come out of this game, other than a really good first NHL game for Alex Nedeljkovic, is a good yelling to by Travis Green. I think that's going to come out, right? Probably safe to assume that that's going to happen. As for what goes on in the future, now... Oh boy, things are going to be interesting now, aren't they? Derek Pouliot, what's going to happen to him? I have no idea. I doubt we trade Pouliot. I doubt we waive Pouliot. He's probably going to stay on the team. If I'm going to be honest, I don't expect anything to happen to Derek Pouliot. At the same time, I don't expect anything to happen with anybody because we're not really a team that makes trades. Huh. Man. There are a few other weird things that I actually wanted to talk about too. Towards the end of the game where we were trying to kill off that two-minute power play that was given to Eric Goodbranson because he got a double minor and a 10-minute game misconduct. Elias Pettersson was out there on the penalty kill, and that was something that I was really weirded out by. He was also playing with Granlund and Levo earlier in the game, too. Now, I get that the Vancouver Canucks wanted to change lines, switch things up. We saw a lot of line juggling with the defensive core. Especially with Ben Hutton. He was out there with Edler. He was out there with Goodbranson. He was out there with Stetcher. He was out there with every defenseman other than Pouliot. And Pouliot in general was just... That was probably the worst game he's played this year. But at the same time, that was the worst game the Canucks have played all year. So it's not really, like, that impactful coming from him. Because overall, the team was just so bad. Markstrom was alright, but... Don't know what else to say other than the fact that the Carolina Hurricanes just won their first game in Rogers Arena in, like, 19 years. Which is good, I guess. Right? Good for them. Oh man, I don't really feel good about this one. I applaud Shorthouse, once again, for his professionalism. Because I know a lot of people, if they were placed in that position, they wouldn't have done the same thing. I know that he's professional and all, but still... 
he's good at what he does. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, thanks for Gaming, and bye. <laughs>